Page 28, Kites in the Sky. This piece goes a little crazy. Let's talk about it. Three, four time. I'm counting to three. And we'll kind of do both hands at the same time because it's, it's all melody. It's all, so at the beginning you're, you're starting out with a little finger in the left hand on C, so you're here. And your right hand comes in on the second measure, thumb on C, so you're here, in C position. And you're just playing these notes. It's an interval of a third, remember that? Learn to recognize them. They don't have to be played at the same time. Remember, notes can be played at different times, but there's still the distance between them. And here. And then for the third measure, the left hand's going to cross over to play the A. And the right hand stays there because it's going to get the next note. Then bring the left hand back down for the next line. Measure, the left hand crosses over again to get these notes, the C and the E. Leave the left hand where it is because you still need it there. Just leave it there. And here. Now, as we're doing this, let me just be careful because when you end a line and you're, let's take the first line. The left hand is here and then the right hand plays here. That gives the left hand time to move down. Not a problem. In the second line, the left hand is playing the note at, and the line ends there. There's no rest, there's no time for the left hand to move down here. Because it plays the next note. So what you got to do, and it, we practice this, is you're going to cut that note, the end of the second line, a little short. So you have time to get down here. Just a little bit, just a fraction of a beat. Just short. It's up to you how short practice that. Can you do that? Because the beat's got to be steady. You don't mess up the beat for it. So this is one, two, three, one, two, and you just got to get down there in time. You may have to practice that. The third line's the same as the first line up above, and then on the next page, the first line is kind of simple. You're not moving around or nothing. It should be fine. The last two measures, watch out, because the right hand is tied. As the left hand plays that G, the right hand stays down. So, and then they start what they call another section. I have a problem with that. I won't get into it. We'll go. So it starts with the second line of, the, of page 29. You will notice the measure lines went away. All of this is like one measure. And you're thinking, wait a minute. A measure can only have three counts. What's going on? Well, in music, we have different things called cadenzas. Make other names or other things going on. It's kind of a free-flowing, show-off, do whatever you want, forget the rhythm, forget the timing, forget the keys, the time signature, blah. You decide. And that's really kind of what this is. There's, there's no one, two, three, one, two, three. It's just kind of one, 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 one. The quarter notes, generally, for now, you can stay with the same speed. Because you might change the speed. This is like an artistic thing. The left hand's playing its notes down here all the way up. And then the right hand comes down and plays its notes. And the left hand does its thing. And you're just crossing. You're doing this all the way up. And there's a note there at the, toward the bottom of the page. Continue doing this all the way to the highest C on your keyboard. Whatever. I don't know how long your keyboard is. On this one, the top note is a C, so we're going to go all the way to the top. Just, just keep going. All the way to the top. When you get this kind of a thing, and you see the pattern, you don't need to be looking at the music. You can get your eyes out of the music, and when you want to start this, you know you're starting on this C, and you're going to go all the way up to your highest C. You don't need the music to tell you what to do at this point. So once you start this, forget the written music, look down at the keyboard and focus on what's going on down there. Because so, you've got to have your hands in position all the way up till you finish it. And that's kind of important. So don't bother trying to read all those notes. I mean, they don't even give you all the notes on the last line. You just keep going up. That's the pattern. And as far as how loud you are, it says medium soft there on the second line. 
but you can adjust that if you want to get a little louder as you go up or a little softer as you go up. How do you feel it? You know, learn it first and then you can feel it later. And that's what that's about. They're calling that a separate section. Now I'll come back to the section thing later on in another video. Now, get all that worked out. Notes and the rhythms, you got the dynamics sort of going on, not a lot going on in dynamics, you sort of got that. Then you add the pedal. Let's talk about the pedal. At the beginning, you push the pedal down right after you play the notes, and you're going to leave the pedal down until you finish the first line on page 29. Pedal stays down for the whole time. Isn't this going to be fun? So at the beginning, you would push the pedal down, and you would keep it down through the whole thing until the end of the line on page third. Uh, on page 29, that line. One, two, three, four. And then the hands of the pedal come up, and then you don't pedal this last part. Now, let's try this out very, very, very slowly to double check the notes. And good luck on that page 29 stuff. So the hands are here to start. Foot's on the pedal, I'll give us three counts. One, ready, go. Three. 